My job is not job. This is my playground. What brought me into aviation actually was when I was about 10 years old to watch this Piper J3 Cub up in Missouri, in my hometown of Louisiana. The gentleman that used to fly this J3 Cub worked for my dad. So on the weekends, I used to see this Cub flying around in the backyard. It really inspired me that it was really cool to be flying an airplane. Well, I remember flying on the airlines and sitting on the airlines thinking that this is really going to be a cool career. After high school, that's when I got started and looked for aviation colleges. I ended up buying that J3 Cub when I was in college. I had $1,000 my name and I went to my local bank at my hometown and took a loan for $6,000. Paid $7,000 for this J3, Piper J3 Cub. We're a bunch of nuts in aviation in college flying around. My first job in 1986 was working for a company here in Texas for e-systems and then it became Raytheon eventually and I was an engineer for them. After I left Raytheon in 1999, I bought a cabinet shop that built interiors for executive aircraft like Boeing Business Jets, Global Expresses, Embraer's. Built the cabinetry and the seating and the carpet installs. Uh, we didn't do completions inside the aircraft and everything went into the aircraft. The Legend Aircraft was a hobby business in 2004 and then we had some other friends that got involved that were small investors in the company. So we had a great team. The process of building a Legend Aircraft, when we initially decided, and of course we just tried to do, pick up all the best things we could find in the aircraft about all the Piper drawings so we had a lot of information there but we also looked at other issues that Piper aircraft had with the aircraft you know there's probably no aircraft flying today that has more modifications done to it than the Piper Cub so we want to incorporate all those things to make it a, a great airplane and a great performing aircraft Once it uh, goes on to a rotisserie, then you'll see that it will go over to another stage uh, where Lane is working and he'll do all the structural welding. He'll install the landing gear fittings, the wing fittings, and all the major components are at this stage. We have the wings and we have a fuselage right here. And over to my left right here is where we uh, have some painted wings. The uh, pieces behind me have been primed. And then if you look over in this section, we have the wings that have been painted. over here and it's painted and this is where they're going to install their their stringers and their trim and their vertical fin. We do all the interior parts, our baggage compartment, floorboards are all carbon fiber and then our brake system and rudder pedals and our fuel lines. So we try to assemble the aircraft as much as possible before it take, gets the fabric covering on the aircraft. This is a 1940s model Piper J3 Cub. Basically what Legend Aircraft was designed after. Inside the aircraft it's all really basic stuff. You know, your basic instruments, there's no avionics at all in this aircraft. This is exactly the same model of aircraft that I restored when I was 27 years old. My name is Luke Spohr. I am 20 years old. I'm a pilot here at Legend Aircraft. I started flying when I was seven years old with my stepfather. He took me flying for the first time. If you were scared about something, whether it was stalls or tight turns or steep turns, I say, Luke, guess what we're doing today? We're gonna do some stalls and steep turns. I didn't fall in love with it right away. It took me a few flights to kind of get over that nervous feeling. Eventually got over that and I fell in love with flying and caught that flying bug everyone talks about. Flying a Cub is, it's like flying a weather vane or a jet ski. It's, it's like the jet ski of the air. It's much more performance based. It's a lot slower, but you can climb a lot faster. You can land a lot shorter. You can get into a, we call it bush flying. So these, these non, they're not even runways. They're just flat enough pieces of land that you can land these planes on with these really big landing gear and tires. Landing on gravel bars, sandbars, just fields on top of mountains. Anywhere that's flat enough and just a few hundred feet long so you can get your plane down and stopped. A lot of hard work. I started out with uh, basically no money and basically started the business through just a lot of passion and, and it's just the love of what you enjoy doing in life. You do what you do and you enjoy what you're doing, and you know, everything else will come with it. 